Revelation 3128. From the 21st of May 1944. Evidence. Reasoning of Intellectual Knowledge. Spiritual knowledge can never be proven but only substantiated, that is, man can draw logical conclusions from it. Therefore, he can also intellectually recognize this conclusion if he takes an unprejudiced stand on it. But evidence can never be produced for it because it is not beneficial for earth time that the human being can convince himself of things which do not concern the body but only the spiritual in the body. Nevertheless, the human being himself can be fully convinced that spiritual knowledge is truth, he just cannot pass on this conviction in a school-like manner, but this would be the case if evidence could be established for the correctness of the spiritual knowledge. And therefore such knowledge can never be taught. Thus it cannot be transmitted by intellectual means, but a God-pleasing way of life is always a prerequisite for that knowledge to be received and also understood. For the gift of understanding only makes what is received what it is, otherwise they are only words which do not come alive because they lack the inner spirit. And that is why it is not the evidence which is decisive but the will and state of maturity of the person who receives the spiritual knowledge. And that is why knowledge cannot propagate itself through teachings, for as soon as the human being does not fulfill the conditions set for him, he certainly receives the teachings intellectually, but they do not penetrate his heart and now no longer have the effect of knowledge but only as thought material which does not leave a deep impression. But to the man who earnestly desires right knowledge, the reasons, the logical conclusions, which stimulate him to think, are sufficient to awaken in him also the conviction that truth is offered to him, for it is not his keen intellectual thinking that gives him the conviction, but his heart his will to truth, which also earns him the power of knowledge, the ability to regard right knowledge for truth. While the truth is to be spread, which can only be done by teaching fellow human beings, it absolutely requires the willingness of the listener to recognize the transmitted knowledge as truth. This willingness is more important than evidence for even evidence would not be able to convince if the person is unwilling to be taught the truth. However, the human being must not close his mind to reasons, as these contribute considerably to convincing him, for the intellect must also be active after the heart has decided, so that the knowledge now becomes mental property, which he himself can now represent again. Amen.